The requirements diagram is a specific SysML hierarchy diagram with its own graphical notation linking requirements to system entities that satisfy and or verify the given requirement. The Genesis implementation of the requirements diagram allows for flexible placement and sizing of nodes to support the information classically shown on the diagram. As part of the requirements representation set, this diagram is available for requirements, documents, and packages. The requirements diagram uses a structured layout with specific movement rules for each node. Child nodes can be moved in a fairly free manner. Placing them in an area where they are not allowed will cause Genesis to automatically move them to the closest position where they may be placed. Moving a parent node will cause the child nodes under it to follow, maintaining the basic hierarchical structure between child and parent. In a hierarchical format, which includes the requirements diagram, if the same entity is encountered multiple times while traversing the database, it is shown on the diagram multiple times. When an entity appears on a diagram multiple times, a small black square appears in the upper right-hand corner of the icon. In this event, Genesis proceeds to expand the first occurrence of this entity. A node with a small black square in the upper left indicates that there is more information to display. This occurs when there are more relationships to traverse than the number of levels specified for the diagram. This will also occur if you collapse an existing node to hide the nodes beneath it. Individual nodes can be expanded or collapsed as desired to tailor the representation. The requirements diagram uses edge decorations to help convey information. When you use non-orthogonal lines, which is an option in the diagram properties, the edge decoration between requirements is dependent on the refining requirement entity's origin attribute. If the origin attribute is derived or design decision, a single arrowhead is shown. When the origin attribute is nil or originating, a plus sign circumscribed by a circle is used. Should you use orthogonal lines, the edge decoration is set to the common decoration, if there is one, or a standard arrowhead. The decoration between documents and requirements and requirements and blocks, activities, and verification requirements is always a standard arrow. The requirements diagram shows more than just requirements. You can see blocks, activities, and verification requirements. The new block command will enter a new component on your diagram. The new activity command enters a new function. The new verification requirement command enters a new verification requirement. Should you desire to create an entity in a different class or select an entity that already exists, choose the blocks, activities, or verification requirements commands instead. For more information and resources on Genesis, please visit our website or feel free to contact our support team. Mm -hmm.